to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys this um uh style that someone sent to me the, the main focus is supposed to be the bottom because the person wanted to know how to attach a patch of a carrot to the bottom of your dress like that so guys basically i don't want to waste you people's time so two methods is what you can use here i've done the two just to show you so basically all you have to do is it depends on the width of the fabric the width like the length you want to use once you calculate it you already know the one you want to use at the as the plane the one you want to use as this bottom part here let's say you decide to use 10 inches for this here and then whatever 15 or so just know that there are two methods to doing this one method once you finish attaching this thing at the end then you go ahead and just make a patch you see this patch here was just attached after i joined this body of this to the bottom i just went ahead took the same width of this here the same width of this here and then i folded the edge this way so this all the way around came down here you see this part here is still on a fold right it's just like a patchwork maybe coming five inches or six inches up to the main body of this fabric and then sew this down here right that's on a bigger scale and then when you pleat it you see when i cut the width here the width here is basically round the person's waist measurement times 2.5 right so let's say their waist is 30 times 2.5 whatever you get split that fabric into three first you split it into two and then you take away one portion of it that will be your front panel then the other portion you split it into two again that part will now be the back because you need a zipper right so you see i split it into two first let me close it this way so the waist measurement after measuring it i split it into two took the first to be my front panel and then the other second part i split it open at the back to be the back panel so that you can put in a zip here so if you can imagine it with me now, what you have to do here is basically go in here and put in a pocket. You see the seam at the side, put in a pocket here. And then you can hem this edge here with the, the, the cloth. Like once you're done, you hem this part. And then once, if you want to pleat it, all you have to do is make a box pleat this way. Make a box pleat this way. And then this one is done. You can pin it down this way. And then you make another pleat. Maybe another one facing this way, another one facing this way. You pin it down right just ignore the plates i'm making i'll still show you guys but i just want you to see what i'm trying to explain here so the next one you make might look something like this again right i know these plates they don't look nice but you can imagine this is already what that style looks like so this is one method of doing this here you see and then we'll move over to the second method so the first method basically means that you're going to put this just go ahead join this this akara to the main fabric all over to the length of the clothes and then take a piece of that same width join it you see where i marked my chalk to know where the center of my fabric is this is the center the center of the front panel my front panel stops here and here these two parts here where the pocket is going to be i made sure to put this in between on on, on the center so did this way all the way down all i have to do now is hem it and then box plate it but then this second one is still the same measurement of the width you see this is where my front panel starts here the two sides where you're going to put in the pocket and then my center seam but this one here all i did was just to join this here first of all before you join the flay at the end the akara at the end you see you're going to sew this straight guys remember and you're going to iron it you might iron it making the akara, akara um the seam to face towards the end this way if if that way is the way that it lays flat better for you or you can face it up depending on how you just as you're ironing it go with the flow if it's facing better down iron it down if it's facing up iron it up so for this one you can go ahead and join the patch alone on this alone like this right just go ahead put in a patch that comes up let's say six inches into the main fabric when i say six inches i actually mean six inches on a main body of a cloth right not like on this small pattern because this here might be just three inches or two i don't know but I'm, I'm 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 saying like when you're making your own so now once you've sewn it like a patch all over then you're going to take it again and then take the main fabric again and then sew it close this way so you can imagine that this now is sewn close right let me just pin it so you've sewn this close now right you just hem it and then open it up back again and then just hem this edge here but to me i feel like this one is better this method here is better because this one makes it light but you want this center part to stick out more 
So that's why you need more layer to it so that it gives you that because this center part is where you're going to start the box split. If you look at all the, the pictures that come with this style, they always start the box split by the center so that this puffy part here will give you this big, it will give you, they will tuck in one side of it in and then tuck in the other side of it in this way. And then you have this part here in the center like this, you see? They hide in that edge on this side, hide it in on the other side, and then you have this bold box pleat here, and then you can pleat going this side and pleat going the other side. But just the main thing is that you've gotten the center part. So that's basically it. Let me show you guys now on my bigger fabric, because I also did it on a bigger fabric, but it's too wide, and might start to confuse you guys because of the width of the fabric. I might not get everything on camera. So basically, this is it here. This my I want my bottom of my dress to be I think about 23 or so. So you can use one um whatever you decide to use as the body on this plain one. Do add one inch to it, half an inch of joining this to the akara, half an inch of joining the waist to whatever bodies you decide to use. And then once you've done that, you see I also join the side. I'm still going to go in and put in a pocket here. That's why I keep saying you have to split the fabric into three. That way you can be able to fit in a pocket and then you see the center back here. So now this is what the front will look like. So basically all I did is the width of my Akara, which is about 11.5 inches is what I use. Right? This is the center here. After joining all the Akara at the bottom now, this is what I have left. I cut it out. I'm going to use it now. Come to the center of this cloth like this and join this patch here. You see? This is what I'm going to join. All I have to do is just to go ahead. You see, I made sure that the hemming line is meeting each other here because this part is going to be tucked in with this fabric like this when I'm done, right? But the edge here, before I tuck it in, I'm going to make sure that I've ironed in this edge and sewn it down on my sewing machine straight down. Fold this one in this way. Sew it down on my sewing machine down this way. Fold this up part here. Sew it down on my... Uh, um, this on my sewing machine guys like I said the width of this is actually 11 inches and then when I make my box pleats no matter how big my box pleats is so let's say this is my box pleat now I tuck in one side here those guys bear with me as I'm doing this tuck in this side and then come this way tuck in this side you see I already have that design and then I do the next pleat here so you have this one you do another one facing this way and then you do, you know box split is one will come towards you, one will go away from you. So you do another one going this way. You see, now that you've done this, you're going to get another, this one to face this side. That's how you do a box, a kissing plate, right? You, you make this one face this way. And then you take the other one, make it to face away from this side, right? And then make this one face towards it. You see, just like that, we are already making the plates. So you move this one now. You move it towards this side. You see, my pleats are starting to come together. So that's basically it. Now there is a pocket here, and then there's my pocket here. This is the center one. Although it's not perfect now, but and the pleats are not equal, but you get the point. So that's basically it. So guys, this is basically it here. All I have to do now is to join any type of bodies I want for the top. I can do a basic bodice, which is what I plan on doing. A basic bodice with a cold shoulder. But I just wanted to show you guys this bottom uh, flay, how to do it. So guys, if you really want to do the sleeve thing, like exactly what the thumbnail is, all you have to do is just draw your basic bodies, right? You see, I drew a basic body here, shoulder, armhole, everything. And then all you have to do, you see the dart is ready. The back panel has extra one inch of zipper allowance by the center. All you have to do is come down here on a basic body. On a, on a human size, it might be five inches down will be your off shoulder. And then you come down like five inches, slash it here and cut it out this way. So you cut out this part as the off shoulder. On a normal person, it will be like five inches is what I'm trying to say. You cut off this part. So once you cut this off, another thing you have to do is to measure. So let me cut this out first. So you cut this out. You remove the off shoulder. It depends on you from your shoulder to where you want the off shoulder to be. Five inches, four inches, whatever. And then you're going to measure from one side of your armhole like this to the other side. Just like that. Measure the from one point to the other. And then you're going to place that measurement. It's, it's normally like one inch away from your shoulder. Like let's say your shoulder measurement divided by two is eight. Which is what you use to draw your basic bodies. Normally it might be like seven. 
like that's the front of one pit, one side of your armpit to the other might be like 14 so that means you're going to do 14 divided by 2 that's removing one inch right so that is it you, your armhole is already there so let's say when you check the measurement now whatever you get let's say somewhere here now you go down in here and cut it out into the armhole or you can start from that point here just start from measuring that part of your armhole from one armpit to the other in front measure it insert the measurement insert your armhole into divided by two put it here but make sure, making sure that you're placing your tape where after where the off shoulder is supposed to be if it's four inches if it's five inches draw the armhole draw your basic body waist divided by four everything put it in the back panel you also measure your side the back of your armpits one side to the other insert it here do the same thing whichever one but don't forget that the back you're still going to come up at the side of the zipper remember this is our zipper allowance here you're going to come up one inch here and cut that off because if you don't cut this off it will make the back flat to drop when you go to attach it because your back is shorter than the front right so you need to cut off that one inch by the zip so your zip dog doesn't bulk up and then your flay is balanced right on your waist at the back so that's basically all you have to do once you've put in your armhole measurement what it's supposed to be you cut it off and then you see you have one front panel like this you go ahead pick your two darts here because there's supposed to be a second dart here like this you pick the two darts in front and then you have your two basic bodies at the back with the zipper allowance you also do that one too like this and then you cut out a band maybe a band that looks like a strap and then put it sew it on one side here on the other side here close up the armhole use bias to run this part or you can use the lining anyone i'm going to link different ways to do this off shoulder bodies any bodies you want you can attach to this like i said the main purpose of this video was to show the, was to show the person this pattern here so thank you guys so much for your time and i'll see you in my next video bye